do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter reproduction in plants in that we are studying topic budding one method of growing a plant is grafting mixing while there is another method which is budding budding is much more easier than grafting and more economical Today we will be studying how budding is done. Budding. Budding is a technique that is used precisely for growing flowers. Sometimes if grafting fails for the production of a flower growth, what is used is budding. Now during budding what is done is they locate a vigorously growing bud and you all know buds can be axillary or apical. Precisely axillary buds are used since they are more in number and this axillary bud is removed from the sycon region. Remember the lower part of the stem is called as stalk while the upper part of the stem is called as sycon during grafting. So from the sycon region a bud is removed that is axillary bud and then a v-shaped cut is done in the stalk region. The stalk region which is present in the soil and in this v-shaped cut what is done is the bird is inserted. Once the bird is inserted, it is tied properly with the cello tape, etc. And it is the stem, or you can say the sycon region or the stalk region, is added to the soil and with the bud attached to it. Now, this bird is basically axillary birds, and we all know inside axillary birds there are some tissues, meristematic tissues, and According to meristematic tissues, meristematic tissues are those tissues of the plant cell which were formed first and they have the ability to grow into each and every plant. So meristematic tissues can grow into parenchyma, colenchyma, sclerenchyma and everything. Beside this, the reason why budding can be done in plants is plants are totipotent. When I say totipotent, plant cells have the ability to generate from a single cell into different varieties of cell, whereas humans are not totipotent. So that is the reason why budding works. The process of budding is widely used because this process is more reliable. You can find large number of buds and mark a hole or you can say just cut a V-shaped structure and insert these buds into various stalks or stem and plant large number of flowers from at a particular time. Budding. During budding, a vigorously growing bud is removed from the sycon region, the upper part. It is inserted into the slit of a stem, a cut made in the stem of the stalk. It is covered by wet mosses to prevent drying. This process can be done for some varieties of rose. During budding, a T-shaped incision or cut is made into the bark. The sycon is inserted into this incision. The place where of union is tied and covered with a grafting wax. And after this, the plant is actually grafted. So students, in this part of the chapter, we have studied about budding and how does budding works. I hope you all are clear with the concept of budding. Thank you.